How are we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here. And welcome to another episode of really cool gaming loot. Over here guys, we got the Shadow of the Tomb Raider strategy guide over here. And I, and I wanna show you guys a bit of this guide and most importantly, what we get inside this guide because this was about 60 Australian dollars. And as you guys know, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider launched today, but the other special edition launches on Friday. But in case you guys wanna grab this, this is 60 bucks in Australia. In the US, it should be about what, 40 to 50 bucks there. Let me know the comments below but over here as we can see a really nice looking guide of Laura Croft and in this guide over here we get the orange shadow band resource pack and also the custom sticky notes as well so really really nice to see that looking at the back of this book here we get a couple of things as we can see the sticky notes the map a bit of information about this and the free digital guide access card inside so if you guys want to win this free e-guide all you guys got to just do is tell me why you want to buy this game and why i should pick you to win a free copy of it so all you guys got to tell me is why i should pick you to buy this and most importantly what you love about Tomb Raider so much so further ado guys, let's just start unboxing this book together. Right, guys, let's take this out the packaging here. Yeah? I absolutely love strategy guides. I'm so curious to see who's gonna win this. Let's open this up nice and slowly. Get that open. I love this on a plastic as soon as you take out the book. <laughs> but how are you guys finding Spider-Man? Like, you know, it's been a really awesome week. Re pretty busy for me having to unbox all these things for y'all, but I absolutely love doing this for you guys to show you guys whether this loot is actually worth getting. Cool, so all done there. So cool, so let me just move the uh, strategy guide stuff to the side. So let me show you guys the sticky note over here. So we get this really nice sticky note of the uh, the rise of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, the shadow of the Tomb Raider obviously. Look at that, looking really awesome. Nice sticky notes there. So in case you guys wanted to you know, bring this to work, you could just, you know, have it there if you really wanted to. So I really like this kind of loot. So I'll be able to, you know, show off to my colleagues at work and say, hey, look what I got. So that's a really nice looking sticky notes there. Put that to the side. And uh, of course, at the back here, as you guys saw previously, on the other side should obviously be the code. But again, guys, if you guys want to win it, all you guys got to tell me is why you deserve it and why you guys love the game so damn much. So let me just uh, open this book right now and show you guys what's inside this book. So, really nice looking book over here, guys. I love the artistry they put on the front cover. Looks really, really nice. Man, this is really nice looking design here. And on the side here, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Clicker's Companion Tomb. At the back, you gotta love that sign over there. I absolutely love that. That's looking really gorgeous and it would really, really stick out on your book collection. So, I really do like that. But now let's open this book up together guys and see exactly what we get inside this book. Let me just zoom in so y'all can see what I see. So nice sort of uh, artistry there as we could see Laura Croft and all the signatures over here. I'm assuming these should be the signatures from all of the developers hopefully. And opening here, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm actually downloading a copy on my PC right now as I'm making this video because I really want to play this game and see how much they've actually improved from the original Tomb Raider. But I really do like the uh, opening of the book there and a bit about the history of the book here. I really do like this. And of course it shows you each and every single chapter. So let me show you guys, yeah. So chapter one and chapter one all the way, all the way up, to, up to chapter nine and also the post game, the skills, infantry, trophies and achievements. So before I get into anything guys, spoiler alert. There's going to be a lot of spoilers in this game, but I'm just showing you guys the strategy guide in case you guys are thinking, you know, sh should I pick this up or not? But all the chapters are here, guys. Nine chapters in the game and the post game, the skills, infantry, trophies, achievements and everything. The fan art. What I won't do right now, guys, is I won't show you the chapters because I don't want to spoil this game for y'all. But what I do want to show you guys is maybe the fan art and show you how amazing that looks like and maybe a bit of the skills, but guys spoiler alert. if you guys do not want to see uh get any spoilers do not check out this part just sort of fast forward but right now what i want to show you guys most importantly is the fan art. all right guys before i show you the fan art, let me just show you the prologue of the game over here of the, of the strategy guide so we get the journey becoming the tomb raider a bit of information about the game and most importantly the lore information of it and of course in the beginning here it sort of shows you the difficulties that you're able to pick from and all the combat stuff as well so i'll just zoom in so you guys can sort of see what i see here so you, you 
you, they sort of tell you in depth about, you know, easy all the way up to very hard difficulty in case you guys wanted to see it. And even all the exploration activities and the puzzles. So if you guys wanted an easy mode here, you guys will be getting easier puzzles and easier crafting abilities. Unlike if you guys go to very hard, things will get a bit more challenging. So they go pretty much in detail here. Yeah. And most importantly, they also show you uh, how to actually access the game here. Yeah. And most importantly, how it actually works. So it even shows you all the resources within the game. And most importantly, it, sh it sort of shows you just the sort of outline aspect of this game, especially the fact that if you guys have played the previous Tomb Raider, you guys may know exactly what to do. So yeah, as a prologue guys, a lot of detail inside here too. Uh, and you know, it's really nice to see that this book goes in thorough detail, especially for 60 bucks if you guys wanted to pick this up. But it sort of shows you, shows you the location of where this place is happening. And I really do like this book, man. Like, you know, it shows you the Cozumel and the map of it too. Everything happening here, the main story and the main objectives. I won't go too much in detail, guys, because I don't want to spoil it for y'all. But I wanted to just show you just the outline and just basically what you get in the strategy guide. So you get all of the resources, where to find stuff in this guide, the common resources, enter the dig site, explore the dig site, all the stuff, you know, stealth combat, um, ancient dialects, everything guys. Like this book goes pretty much in detail. So, you know, I just thought I'd show you guys just the beginning part of this book here. And it's really awesome to see, you know, exotic, you know, resources in case you guys wanted to farm for a bit you know, braided rogue uh, barriers, everything here, the whistle dot. So this strategy guide, guys, if you guys are thinking, should I grab the strategy guide? Absolutely, man. Like just, you know, looking at the details just in the prologue itself, a lot is happening now. So this is obviously a different area of the flood. So I wouldn't want to go in every single area to spoil the video or the game for you guys rather. But let me just go back to the credits here and show you guys the rest of the stuff. Over here, guys, I wanted to show you guys the skills of this game here. So this sort of shows you in detail on all the skills here. Let me just zoom into this sort of graph so you guys can see it. And it sort of shows you the graph of the skills and how this works like. And when you guys put up the game, you guys will probably be greeted by this chart over here. So it'll sort of show you how to deal skills within the game and what are the best skills for each weapon set, I'm assuming. So the Seeker skill, it goes pretty much in detail here. Seeker skill, everything here, the Eagle Sight and Owl Meal, all the skills. It even shows you examples of images on the side here. And even other skills here too, the Eagle Grasp, the Crown's Charm, all these awesome looking skills here. The Eye of the Eagle. I won't spoil it too much for y'all, but I just thought I'd show you just the overview of the strategy guide here. The Eagle Eye skill. So it sort of shows you all the details of each and every single skill. The Warrior skill, which is awesome to see. You get the Jagger Fear skill or, you know, the Puma Brace skill, all in detail here, which is really awesome. Sip Strike, Jaguar Paw skill. You know, the scavenger skills, everything here. So this is a pretty great strategy guide, people. I would definitely recommend getting this. And of course, Laura Croft doing a thing over there. This over here is a serpent path skill. It's all the details of this skill over here. That's really awesome to see that. So pretty much in detail and even yeah, even the recommended skills, it shows you, you know, per detail, the scavenger skill, all the stuff. Yeah, it sort of shows you even the explanatory stuff here too. So, you know, the scavenger ball skill automatically looting enemies, drinks of skills is more of a convenience than a necessity. So everything, everything is in detail here, guys. So in case you guys wanted, you know, a really great strategy guide to show you all the goodies, this is definitely it. So I'll definitely be using this book especially when I finish my first game and to just see the new game plus and see what we get there, the lower crop skill. So pretty much in detail here, guys, you get a lot of value for what you pay, 60 bucks. I know it is pretty expensive, but even the inventory, yeah, so it sort of shows you how to manage that as well, I'm assuming. Even your weapons, your bows, each upgrade on the bows here. Let me zoom in so I can see a bit of it. But the recurve bow, the gold edition, all the different bows, you know, all the different types of bows here. Yeah. So they go pretty much in detail. So if you guys are loot collectors like myself or want to, you know, be completionists and beat the game 100%, this book is an absolute necessity and all the different guns as well. Look how cool these guns look like. 
Let me go to the top here. So the pop break that cooler gun. So the CAT triple S double five gun, NEP 14 gun, the Jade model 27 gun, all the awesome information about it as well. So these are all the guns in the game, guys. Really awesome. The Vicar Mark II Gold Edition gun. All the rifles, yeah. The PNTF 267 gun as well. The Wasp 11 gun. Man, it goes pretty much in detail, guys. Shotguns as well. Absolutely awesome. Melee stuff 2 climbing axe. WHWS gun, knives as well. Oh, this is awesome. All the details you want in the game. And the gear too. So, of course, pretty much in detail with all the gear. I'll just show you guys quickly progression outfits. All the outfits from the game as well. All the loot and even the lore about them because I love to understand, you know, information about the gear that you're wearing and most importantly what it does within the game really really awesome guys mantle of the sky all these types of gear so they're pretty there are a lot of different sets in this game so it's good to see that they really paid a lot of attention to craftsmanship and even different details in this game and i'm so excited to boot this up guys the boots, all the stuff here. So, you know, it tells you how to get it available to buy from the Outcast Merchant. So, in case you guys wanted to complete this game again, guys, pick up the strategy guide. New game plus outfits. Oh, even new game plus outfits. Okay, so you get yourself some sort of incentive when you do yourself another game. Okay, that's cool. Outfits, so the classic outfits. This, this of course, was the traditional lower craft outfit. The first one back in the PS, PS1, PlayStation 1, the bummer jacket, and the Angel of Darkness. That is so cool. Those classic outfits are so hip. And the Desert Tank, that was from the uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, that one. And they're sort of changing them up here. And the Explorer, look at that. Tomb Raider outfits too so this is awesome guys all the information that you want to know so the shadow runner so awesome and of course all the information about the main story progression outfits are all there so you get everything you know side mission rewards outfits everything so trophies and achievements so this is a really in detail guys as you check out the trophies and achievements yeah because you guys may want to see okay what do i get so I won't really go too much in detail because I don't want to ruin it too much for y'all, but there are a lot of trophies as you guys can see yeah. Um, even the description, yeah. If you guys want to just check these out, you guys could just pause the video. But you know, new heights, you're able to, you know, break all these trophies and achievements, so family ties. A lot happening here, guys. Smart and resourceful, story completion, all these different trophies and achievements, man. Hearts and mind and welcome guests. So freaking awesome. Side activity. So you get yourself some really nice trophies for doing side quests. And you know, so much here too. So much information here about trophies and achievements. Upgrade stuff too. So if you guys upgrade your weapons or anything within the game, you get a trophy for that as well. It, it, it seems to see here. The Collector, Dr. Craft, First Step. All these lovely achievements, fellas. So if you guys are on the fence about getting this guide, I will absolutely get it. So that over there, guys, I will just sort of skim through now. I don't want to ruin it too much for y'all, but I wanted to show you how many trophies and achievements there are. So you guys could see there is a lot happening over here. My favorite parts, guys, is the fan art. Because I want to show you how these fans have, you know, sort of shown their appreciation towards the game and the fact that they were chosen to display their fan art. So this guy is Nora Penzina, and this is a really nice looking drawing of Laura Croft. It looks really awesome. I love the detail in that. And this over here is from Pradeep, and I could say he did a really good job. Like the colors, the detail, and even the background was done so exceptional. I am really, really interested in this, and I wish I could somehow mount this image onto my wall. I really like that. Over here, this is from Nebitze Zero. 
and this is a really nice sort of drawing too. The black and white is interesting. I love the sort of, you know, that kind of contrast there. And from Jens Garay, and that is a really cool looking image. Look at that, the half sort of skeleton and the half lower cloth face. I love the sort of textures they use on the face there to sort of create nice shading here. Really well done. Over here we get the uh, Tiffany, I can't even pronounce her surname. That's really cool. I love the fact that you put no colors in. A lot of attention to detail here. Even the lines and the hair. Lots of different backgrounds sort of up there. Even this one here. Looks really cool. Looks more cartoony. Madeline Beer. Looks really cool, man. I wish I could draw that good, guys. It would be so cool. Uh, from Darby Machine. Somehow, sort of a retro sort of theme of Tomb Raider. I do like the way that looks like too. So in case this game was in the retro phase, that's probably how it would probably look like. That's a really nice looking art. And from Deborah El Elnaise. And that's cool. Look at this. That is so cool. Wow. People can draw really well. The next one, yeah, is from, I could not even pronounce that name. I'll just pronounce the surname, Rakahan. And this is a really nice drawing. Like she, like he or she did a great job in that. So very cool. Oh wow, this looks exactly like her. This is from Vinny. I have no idea how someone can draw this great. Look at this. That looks exactly like Laura Croft. I would, I would probably say this is probably my favorite. Let me know what you guys, let me know which one is your favorite fan art guys, because that's amazing. Like the background was done exceptional. Every part of this is, looks, looks absolutely amazing. And of course we get no fee. Ooh, th this face looks great. Look at that. Those lips, the eyes, the hair was done really well. Wow, people are talented out there. Oh, look at this from Lu Tsai. That is really awesome too. I love fan art, man. And for Manuel Perez, look at this drawing, guys. The background, the light on her arm, done so very well. Manuel Perez, great job, bro. Great job, and of course, this is from Caleb Hill. <laughs> Laura Croft looking all crazy. I love the way that looks like. Let's go back here. Tomb Raider Inferno. That's so cool. And of course, guys, some more art over here. It looks so. This is really artistic and a bit of lovely stuff happening here too. So this is a really in detail guide. You know, you get a lot for what you pay for and if you guys are collection freaks like myself even a bit of you know comic stuff yeah if you guys are you know uh collectors like myself i would definitely recommend it and you know just looking at this guys i'm definitely going to be reading all of this today you know a bit of information about world craft but this book guys is absolutely worth it absolutely worth it. So that over there guys is the shadow of the tomb raider strategy guide when I recommend getting this guide, absolutely guys. If you guys are loot people, I wanna complete this game 150%, absolutely pick up this guide. And at the back of this over here, guys, I have the code to the free e-guide of winning this uh, lovely strategy guide online on, on the PDF. If you guys wanna win this guide, all you gotta tell me is why I should pick you and number two, why you guys love this game so damn much. And just in general, like, why do you love Tomb Raider? Because Tomb Raider is a long sort of game, and I've played this game since the 90s, and this is an amazing looking game, and the sort of evolving aspect of the game is really phenomenal. This book is a really beautiful masterpiece, nice design, goes in detail with everything, and you get yourself some really nice sticky notes here. Yeah? And this is really awesome to show your, you know, your fellow work colleagues that, hey, listen, I'm a Tomb Raider fan myself, but I really do like that additive there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, stay, stay tuned to my videos because I want to show you guys some more crazy looking loot. On Friday, I'll be unboxing the collector's edition for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Please stay tuned for that, guys. But you guys know what to do. Stay subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video and God bless you.